Italy is one of the most popular vacation destinations in the world, and it is no surprise. However, not all Italian vacations need to be in central Florence or on the Amalfi Coast. Here, we will take a look at some of Italy's most beautiful places to book your next vacation. Hello, and welcome to our channel. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel with all notifications enabled so that you can easily plan your next trip with our list of top tourist attractions. Having said that, let's begin. Number 1. Tuscany Italy is not only blessed with beautiful beaches, snowy mountain peaks, fresh water lakes and verdant valleys, the country is also replete with thermal baths and hot springs. As the saying goes, some like it hot, and the most famous and loveliest thermal springs are found in Tuscany's southern Maremma region. The Term di Saturnia, which refers to as the Cascade del Mulino, or waterfalls of the mill, contain warm sulfurous water that spills over into a series of tiered pools for a truly magical effect. Only a few vistas are as idyllic and alluring as those of Italy's Tuscan hills. Lined with cypress trees, textured with patchwork vineyards and dotted with rustic farmhouses, the Tuscan countryside is rural, manicured and serene, while its vibrant shades of green and yellow are a feast for the eyes. The Val d'Orsia, encompassing Siena, Pienza and Montalcino, is one of the loveliest parts of the region. Number 2. Campania The Amalfi Coast in Campania remains one of Italy's leading attractions, and for good reason. The impressive coastline is dotted with quaint towns and hillside villages that offer unparalleled views of the Tyrrhenian Sea below. The Amalfi Coast has 13 municipalities in total, with Positano, Amalfi and Ravello being the most famous, and is well known for its beaches, walking trails and dolce vita lifestyle. In Campania, Procida is one of the Flegrian islands strung out off the coast of Naples. The smallest of the three islands, it's a fantastic place to take a break from the hustle and bustle of Neapolitan life. There's a slow pace of life here, with pretty pastel-colored buildings jostled around the harbor. The island is so small that it can be comfortably walked around in two days, making it the perfect place to explore on foot. While there aren't a lot of beaches, Lido di Procida is the most popular one. Staying on this gem of an island is made possible thanks to a clutch of small hotels. Number 3. Sicily Sicily has numerous breathtaking islands, including the Agati Islands, as well as Pantelleria and Lampedusa, though the clustered Iolan Islands are unique for their natural diversity. Comprised of Volcano, Lipari, Salina, Paneria, Stromboli, Filizudi, and Alessudi, each island has its own personality and unique terrain. Stromboli is particularly arresting for its small but regular volcanic eruptions, which are particularly evocative at nightfall. Sicily's first protected area, the Zingaro Natural Reserve, is a four-mile stretch of terrain that combines land and sea to incredible effect. There are plenty of hiking trails that immerse you in the territory and provide beautiful vistas with pristine beaches and small coves. With a diverse flora and fauna, it's a wonderful place to unwind in nature before taking a dip at one of the coastline's many beautiful beaches. Number 4. Umbria Umbria has been blessed with extraordinary natural beauty. Dominated with picturesque forests and rolling valleys whose colors change with the seasons, Umbria has been dubbed Italy's green heart. Active travelers will enjoy its opportunities for hiking, trekking, mountain biking, free climbing, caving, paragliding and canoeing. Castelluccio, a small village in Umbria, nestled in the Apennine Mountains in central Italy, is best known for its fiorita or flowering that takes place in its field each spring. Thousands of colorful flowers create a patchwork pattern on the plateau and feature lentils, poppies, violets, narcissus, daisies, clovers and more, making it one of the most stunning springtime landscapes in Italy. Number 5. Sardinia the Italian island of Sardinia is filled with natural wonder. Its turquoise Mediterranean water and miles of beaches are the main draws, but its mysterious ancient structures, hiking trails, and colorful mountain towns are also worth discovering. 
In northern Sardinia, the Madalena Archipelago is a series of islands and islets that boast some of Italy's most heavenly beaches. With windswept, rugged coastlines made of rose-tinted granite, pristine beaches and translucent turquoise water, the archipelago feels like heaven on earth and has retained much of its natural beauty. It is best visited by boat, which will allow you to reach the archipelago's tiniest coves and beaches. Capri has charmed royalty, artists, and celebrities alike with its gorgeous beaches, many gardens, and restaurants. Situated in the Bay of Naples, Capri is a year-round destination that is bursting with tourists every summer. Be sure to get on the water to explore the sea caves and rock formations. On land, consider visiting the famed Villa San Michel before enjoying some high-end shopping, excellent pasta, and a limoncello or two. The Blue Grotto is world famous for its crystal clear aquamarine waters and blue color. It's definitely the place that everyone visiting Capri has to see, one of the absolute best things to do in Capri. The cave gets its distinctive bright blue color thanks to a large hole in the rock beneath the water surface and a quirk of science, which means that red light entering the hole gets filtered out. The result is stunning. Number 7. Milan A large city, Milan is home to Italy's fashion industry. Numerous other big businesses are based in the stylish metropolis. With innovative and creative designs emanating from its workshops, there is an endless array of shopping options to explore. Home to numerous breathtaking art collections, the city's museums are captivating and its streets are lined with beautiful art deco architecture, among other styles. At the heart of Milan is the gorgeous Duomo, which is simply spectacular. Throughout the city, you will find fantastic dining wherever you turn. Milan has the most Michelin star establishments in all of Italy. For the young people who frequent the canal side cafes and music clubs, Naviglio is one of the top things to do in Milan at night. Although it's the most active in the evening, go in the daytime for the boutiques and artists' workshops and for the restaurants and frequent festivals held here. Number 8. Venice A simply magical city, Venice is like no other place on earth. Located in the middle of a lagoon, its beautiful canals and waterways are lined with stunning buildings, palaces, and churches. The winding alleys between them lead you onto yet more delights. While the Grand Canal and Piazza San Marco are two of the must-see tourist attractions, simply wandering around this charming city is a dream. Although it is very crowded with tourists, you can still find deserted back streets, atmospheric restaurants and bars hidden away here and there. The food here is divine, with awe-inspiring views often accompanying your meal. Take a gondola along the canals to see interesting boutiques and upmarket stores, as well as souvenir shops. Aim to visit during February for its amazing costume-filled carnival. St. Mark's Basilica is one of the beautifully designed churches in Italy and Venice's top attractions. The marvelous decor with gold mosaics and works by Renaissance painters and Byzantine domes are incredibly charming. If you are tired of the monuments and the rich historical sites around Venice, catch a break out on the beach at Lido di Venezia. It does have a long stretch of sandy beach and is one of the best places to find some peace and recluse in. The sandbar is what lies to the south and the southeast of Venice, facing out to the Atlantic. Enjoy a relaxing time on the beach, far away from the hustle and bustle of the chaotic tourist spots. Number 9. Florence The birthplace of the Renaissance, Florence is mesmerizing to walk around and its historic center is full of beautiful art and stunning architecture. This enchanting city is located alongside the Arno River. The Ponte Vecchio Bridge spanning it is one of the Florence's most famous sites along with the incredible Duomo at its heart. Its delightful piazzas are marvelous to stroll through, with heavenly churches and impressive statues lining them. Masterpieces by Botticelli and Michelangelo are generously shown off to the world in its fantastic museums. Delightful cafes and restaurants look out over the ancient cobbles, and with fantastic shopping on offer, as well as sumptuous Tuscan cuisine and delicious wines, Florence will never disappoint. Number 10. Rome While Rome's iconic landmarks, such as the Colosseum and Roman Forum, need no introduction, with over 3,000 years of history, the city is saturated with fantastic historical monuments, piazzas, churches, mansions, and more for visitors to explore. Wandering around its ancient streets is a heavenly experience. Amazing architecture and beautiful ruins are everywhere you look. 
In the center of the city, you can find the Vatican, the heart of the Catholic Church. Here, the impressive St. Peter's Basilica is just one of the must-see sites. While incredible art is found everywhere in the city, the breathtaking Vatican museums are unrivaled when it comes to the stupendous array of paintings, sculptures, and frescoes they have on offer. The Sistine Chapel ceiling is the highlight of this divine collection of art. Although the art, history, and culture is why people visit Rome, it is a bustling city with loads of fantastic restaurants, bars, and cafes lining its streets. With many locals and tourists heading to the lively Trastevere in the evening, that's all in today's video. Thanks for watching. Write down in the comments which among the 10 places you would like to visit on your next trip to Italy. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel on your way out, and we'll see you in the next one. Till then, peace.